Get over here! Hector gains the upper hand in the Battle of Valor. Taking the lead, Hector moves straight towards the Dragon's Gate. Before his eyes, eerie runes appear. What could they be? Are they connected to Nurgle? If they overlook any enemy lurking within, they could be attacked from the rear. Without pause, they open the rusty steel door and step inside. So, funny little thing here. Despite all the time I've all the times I've played Fire Emblem, despite my absolute love for this game, this is actually my first time playing through this chapter. Oh. I I've played through it once before. I've never done it. Hmm. Yeah, we kind of started to see this scene before, but now it's getting expanded upon. What a guy. Of course, the only morph that legitimately has emotions is the one that he's the biggest jerk to. Heh, <laughs> of course. And here we go. We still have some morphs left. Quite a few of them, actually. Now it feels style. more like sorrow. Yep. Because he's uh, existentially depressed. He knows his meaningless is for nothing. Damn. Alright then. So this is a rather interesting chapter. And look at the goal here. Finally! Kill we get to kill this guy. Kashuna. Not defeat boss. Kill Kashuna. Very interesting. Well, that intro was actually a lot quicker than I was expecting. Yeah, um... But we're going to get a little more elaboration on what's going on at the end of the chapter. Uh, I'm assuming, anyway. Uh, yep. So, we're going to do some preparations, guys, and we'll see you in a bit. Nope, none of that. Really? None. Not even here? Nils doesn't know what's freaking going on. I suppose, but he could at least give us some insight on the enemies. Oh well. Sure. All right then. So, um, this chapter. Oscar's a crazy person. What? So, I said to Oscar, "Hey, you know what's kind of funny about this chapter? Um, there's this trap that if you do something the game doesn't want you to do, it starts spawning really strong berserkers." And Oscar said, "Let's do it." Well, excuse me for wanting to make this Let's Play interesting! Yeah. Yeah. Huh. <laughs> but yeah, um, we'll, there, is a, there is a bit of a trap in this game that normally would be very clever for people to take into account. However, before I do that, actually. It might be the death of us. <laughs> yeah, the developers actually took it into account. And it's rather clever that they did. Um, I'm gonna do this real quick. So the hammer in. This was my idea. Yes, it was. Thank you for reminding me of this. Um, we got the magic seal again, so we brought Sarah so that we would have a fringe healer. Mm -hmm. But that's all she can really be is a fringe healer, because if we go anywhere into the middle of the room, magic stops working. I don't even know if Nils can work in the magic seal. I'm pretty sure he... That's a good question. Also, like, these are probably among the toughest normal enemies we will ever see. Yeah. But Hector's at level 16. He's on par with these guys. Yep. Yeah. And I'm pretty sure Ellawood and Lynn are too, despite their lower levels. If you wanted, you could put Lynn down there with a bow to start attacking things. Here? Yeah. If you wanted to see kind of how we stand. That's a good, that's a good idea. Let's see what we got. Wow. Yeah, I'm willing to go for it. Yeah, it's good stuff. As a matter of fact, I may I may uh, put Nils over there and give her Thor's, uh, not Thor's ire, uh, feel his might, too. Well, now would be a good time for us to use all those rings. Yeah. 
So... I didn't think we could bring Merlinus, so that's good. Yeah, um, it's actually really interesting that we can bring Merlinus. Yeah, this seems like the kind of chapter where he, like, would say, Oh, I'm afraid I won't be able to join you. Well, he wants to join us later, but... Well, yeah. Well, we'll, we'll, we'll talk about that when we get there. Yeah. Even though I'm literally getting ahead of ourselves by talking about the trap. Mm-hmm. It was actually... You were... It's a really good idea bringing Lin here. This is actually a really excellent idea. Yeah, because maybe we can max out these guys. <laughs> we can max out these guys, and we can take care of some threats early on. Yeah. Oh, oh, yeah, you meant specifically down in that corner. Yes. Okay. Look at that. I think Hector is going to hit level 20 this chapter. He might. He's going to. Oh my god. In that's... fact, he's going to soon. 17 Great Lord. Yeah, no, if we can actually max out the lords in this chapter, I'll be very happy. Look at that! Lin's doing work! Real work! Yeah, dodge tanking. Over well the wall. Well done, Lin! Huh, okay, sorry if I'm a little lackadaisical, I'm still feeling, uh... Yeah, we're still a little... We're still feeling all the feels from, uh, when, uh... Okay, yes, he can use the ring... He can still dance! Uh, within the, uh, silence- within the silencing field. That's good. I think it's because it's not necessarily magic he's using. No, it's- It's- It's something deeper. It's it, like- It's bardic magic. Yeah, that's- that's a- It's still- that would still be magic, though, wouldn't it? Yeah, but it's a different- It's a different kind of magic. It, it reminds me of, like, in the Harry Potter books, there are certain, like, areas it's possible to, like, like, especially in Hogwarts and different areas, they make it so that you can't apparate and disapparate out of areas. Yeah. Like, there's fields to, prote to prevent teleportation, but house elves could still do it. Basically, because their magic works on different properties, and the people who put the protection spells in never accounted for house elves. Interesting. Because it just works on a different formula. That's actually really good to know. Yeah. Which is why Dobby was, like, so clutch in the last book. <laughs> yeah, I see what you're talking about. Actually, no. In case I need to do any clutch rescues. Well, we're gonna need that warp, too. Yeah, but we can do that later. Okay. Oh, you're you're doing sleeps. Ooh, that might be a good idea later. Yeah. Alright, something to think about, but for now, we don't I, really need to. I was thinking we'd shoot him over the door. Who? This guy? Yeah, when we get to the other side, we that, just That's shoot, actually shoot a pretty decent idea, yeah. Shoot him before we open the, the door. The question is, is that going to trigger Kishuna leaving? No. No, 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 this chapter we need to kill Kishuna. Kishuna so. doesn't leave, yeah. Kishuna... K frankly, I think Kishuna's kind of given up on the whole thing. Maybe. I'm gonna try something. Does Elwood really have any chance of damaging these guys? Um, his strength isn't the best. Let me check something, actually. I just want to make sure. Now would be a nice time to get Ellawood leveled up. Exactly. That's why I'm trying to get this uh, to work. Okay, well, we're not on the time limit anymore, so... No, we are not. So we can take our time here. Yeah. This guy's got a long bow. In fact, they all have long bows. We can let some of them come to us. Yeah. Okay, here's what I'm going to do. I like it. Ow! I mean, it's three damage still. Yeah. I don't like the. F I don't like anyone getting hit right now. But no, this should be good. This should be good. Uh, Elwood. But yeah, we ate some chocolate. That's helping us feel better. Yeah. For first thing I did when we turned off the recording, I went and there has been this. Ever since we started doing these recordings in my house, there's this big um, uh, container, this glass container that we put Hershey Kisses in, and just over the episodes, we've been like, every time we finish a recording, I go and like grab one for each of us, and we just ate the last of them <laughs> because we were sad about Will. It was it was very fitting. Yeah, chocolate always chocolate's the best food to eat when you're grieving. Yep. Wards off Dementors. Or rather, it heals the afflictions of Dementors. There is actually a scientific reason behind that, isn't there? Well, well yeah, it, um... First of all, it can release dopamine. Yes. Uh, but second of all, it, um... 
uh, it can act it can stimulate endorphins. Ah, okay. Which is, which is what fights depression. Huh. Because depression isn't so much sadness, it's it's slowness of feeling, if you will. That makes sense. That's actually pretty heavy. And when um when JK Rowling wrote the Dementors into Harry Potter, she wanted to base them off of her feelings of depression when she was in her 20s. And she wanted a way of kind of visualizing that for people who couldn't understand it. That's actually really cool. So this kind of, not even despair, just like hopelessness. Damn. Harry Potter books are freaking awesome. I don't care what anybody says. I just never got into it, I'm afraid. That's fine. I mean, it's not that I don't think they're a bad series. It's a wonderful series, and, and, and like, anyone worth their... Anyone worth their time dabbling into the, uh... In, into the greats of literature can tell you that. Yeah. But, like I will say for pretty much anything and everything in the world, it's not for everyone. It's it's not your cup of pump, pumpkin juice. Pumpkin juice? Yeah, that's one of the things they drink. Or butterbeer. Oh. Butterbeer would have been even better. Yeah. Ha have you ba have you had butterbeer? No. It's actually pretty good. I don't even like regular beer. Um, it's not actual beer. Yeah, I know, but like, I don't know. I like root beer. Root beer's great. I would pro- what, what I was gonna say is, I so I would probably like it more than non-butterbeer. <laughs> this is gonna be a little bit of a grind. Yeah, pretty but much. A grind is kind of what I wanted for Ellawood. Yeah, for Ellawood and for Lynn. Hector doesn't need it, but he's getting there. Yeah, why don't we just get him up? To We're just gonna 20. max these guys out. This like possibly max these guys out this yeah, chapter. Yeah, what the heck? And we got more Linus, so we can go through those copious items we bought. Mm-hmm. As a matter of fact, that's probably like the best thing for Merlinus here. Yeah. <clears throat> Or the best part about having Merlinus here. Good level up. As a matter of fact, I think Ellawood having that body ring is helping big time. I just realized. Hmm. That's okay, body block him with yep. Merlinus. Merlinus! <laughs> That's so much fun! He's attacking Lin. Yeah, they got good damage is the thing. They have low hit, but if those hits start to add up, we're going to have problems. Yeah. Yeah, I'm now realizing it's actually kind of funny. Like, of our attacking you, like, of our three lords, and this is one of the things I love about Lin as a lord. Let's look at look at Hector and look at Ellawood. Lin is one of the few... In, in fact, might be the only lord in the entire series that doesn't wear armor at all. Huh. She, like, as, like, a swordmaster samurai-type yeah. character, she wears no armor. And, like, she's not even a, she's not even a samurai. She's more like, I don't, I don't know what it's called, but she, she does, she wears absolutely no armor. Yeah. And I find that really cool. I'm gonna have to pull these guys back a little bit. Maybe... See, it depends on who you consider lords, because because some people consider Micaiah a lord, but that's kind of when they stopped using the same formula for their main characters. Yeah, I mean, all things considered, and, and even like if Micaiah you're going, is a lead character, so I would call her a lord. Mm -hmm. And if you're going to take uh, things like that into account, uh, or like gender into account, like lord and lady are pretty much equal. Yeah. Um, Azura doesn't have armor. And she's pretty important, but that's less lord and more, you know, dancer, singer, bard, heron. Just critical character, I suppose you could say. Y yeah, and the essential move again class. Mm hmm. <clears throat> and it's unfortunate, because Azura's not that good. I'm not a big fan. M maybe he I. He just feels. <laughs> I've never felt this strong before, my lord! <laughs> what, if, what if, like, what if Merlinus had this, like, big secret that if you use Fila's Might on him, he could suddenly attack for the turn Fila's Might was active? I think this would become the best game ever. It might- holy smoke. Merlinus, best unit. 
I would love <laughs> that would be amazing that would have that would be absolutely fantastic just... and I just realized something we didn't bring anyone who can unlock those chests that's what I was gonna say before actually um, when I said we made a mistake uh, we don't have any chest keys do we no we sold every key that we have well, now I feel dumb again. What do those chests have, anyway? Oh, it's a good item. What? It's a fortify staff. Well, we have one anyway. Yeah. And I don't think anyone else can use that fortify staff other than uh, Sarah and Renault. And how many times are we going to use fortify in the last chapter? Exactly. By the way, uh, find a little tidbit that I discovered uh, not too long ago. Um, you remember in my... Uh, you remember in my top ten, um, in my, uh, top ten, uh, bleh, uh, Fire most hated Fire Emblem characters, uh, I mentioned, uh, Renault, right? Or not, not Renault, uh, Laurent. L Laurent and Renault are anagrams of each <laughs> other. Huh. I mean, take that for what you will. Huh. But, I, I found that interesting. Um, the interesting found thing I found while, well, um, I was doing my supplementary research for that. Um, and just looking through the comments and everything, like, when we were writing it, really for every character, there was... There was always concluded a, like... Like, why some people would like this. Yeah! Like, I... Not to toot our own horn or anything, just trying to placate any upset feelings. I feel like we went out of our way to really say... If you like this character, there's a good reason to. As a matter of fact, okay, I'm gonna do something a little special for you guys right now while we're while our lords are taking care of business here. Okay. Um, I actually thought of that too, and legitimately, I could think of I can actually think of something I like about each character that I mentioned on that countdown. I'm sure you could, but let's do it. Um, okay, so yeah, go go through the list. I'm I like I'm actually I actually would like to go ahead and in, indulge on this. Okay. One. <clears throat> Number 10, Serena. Uh, it's Severa, isn't it? Oh, sorry, I was using her, uh, Japanese name. Yes. Sorry, Severa. Okay, while Se while I hate Severa's attitude, like, that's mainly the, the, the biggest thing I hate about her, she is actually a legitimately good unit, and she is a viable character to use in the game. In fact, I like using her as yeah. a unit. Okay. I just really don't like her personality. Okay. But yes, she's a great unit. Okay. And also, um, Selena. Yeah, so it, if you consider the, the them the same of, the person... The growth of her character as Selena in Fates, I hate to admit, is actually really cool. At this point, I don't consider that to be Severa, though. Like... I mean, for all intents and purposes, it still is. In fact, they hammer it in that it is. I feel like it's, like, an alternate... Alternate universe version <clears throat> of Severa, though. It might as well be, but they hammer it in that it is Severa. I mean, as, as long as we're gonna do this whole multiversal thing with Fire Emblem, like, it kind of doesn't matter anymore that they're the same person, because they're different Earth versions of them that end up with different experiences. I suppose. Like, they're based off the same person. But yeah, that that is that is my. Uh... It's not the same thing to me, at least. You, you can think of it however you want to. Mm -hmm. um, but to me, it's not like the same thing as like Ike being in Path of Radiance and then being in the sequel Radiant Dawn, yeah. or Barter being in Blazing Sword and also in Binding Blade. You haven't played the DLC of uh, Fates yet, have you? No, I. Be we... Believe me, as soon as you do, you will change your mind. I'm just gonna say that much. Okay. But yeah, that that's what I like about Severa. So does it, like, explicitly say that it's the one from Awakening? Yes. Huh. Then why'd her name change? Um, to, to mention that involves spoilers, so I'm mm. not- I'll, I'll save you the- I'll- I'll, uh, spare you that. Okay. But just believe me that there is a reason behind it all. Whether it's a good reason or not, I'll leave up to you. Okay. 